time for the Big Dog AC Show. Big Dog AC Show, we're back. I think this is show number eight. I think so. I think so. I know it's week three of Halloween. It is. We are getting so close to the very important date you love so much. Yes, I, I enjoy Halloween a lot. Yes. And leading up to Halloween, we've been trying different beers. And so we got a different one that's a, a scarier one. It's from Heretic Brewing Company. It's called Shallow Grave. It's a rich, smooth porter. I'll tell you what, like two of those and you're on your way. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Well, 7% alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, so, fuck yeah. Yeah, we love those guys. Whoever's putting that together has done a good job. And we've always talked about not one of the darker beers, but man, I'll tell you what, it, when we first poured it in the glass, we were like, oh boy. And then we drank it. We're like, yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty good. Well, it looked like root beer in the cup because yeah. it's dark. It is. It's like we're definitely not used to drinking a dark one. But because of Halloween, this one's shallow gray. We're going to try them all. So we're trying them. <laughs> the the uh, more Halloween and spookiness. So this is this is really funny, though. The description that they have on here, I just I want to read it. I usually don't read the whole thing, but this one's pretty funny. So it says, shallow gray porter is, a, is dark as night, perfect for a cool evening out in the woods. This is a big, dark ale with a complex and rich chocolate and caramel malt character followed by a touch of warmth and light malt sweetness leaving you ready for more after each shovel pull. You'll, you'll love this so much, you won't have time to dig a six-footer, so make it a shallow grave. Yeah. We're sure you'll dig it. <laughs> well, I think after two of them, I was ready to lay down, so they, they're pretty good. There's no doubt about that. Oh, yeah, you're definitely done shoveling after two of these. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's good. Just cover some, throw some dirt on him. He's good. <laughs> yeah. So we have an, a website. You can check our website out and... and uh, we have a we're like on all platforms on oh, yeah. all of them yeah we're we're on uh let me let me get my paperwork get your here papers out www.bigdogacshow.com uh you can email us if you want bigdogacshow at gmail.com subscribe to us at youtube follow us on instagram like us on facebook we are going to upload some pretty cool pictures we're getting from uh dk yeah, from a listener. Yeah, DK. Yes, I appreciate it. Yeah, DK is a young man who can. He really has a great imagination, and he's sending us pictures. So we're gonna put those up. You can take a look at them. You know, let us know what you think. They're, I think they're cool. So we'll see. We'll put them up. It's they are cool. Yeah, they are very cool. So mm -hmm. check them out. Uh, they'll be up on our website probably by Monday or Tuesday, somewhere in that time frame. So yeah, this coming week. Yeah. And we thank him for sending that, yeah, we that artwork him. in. That's we cool. love him for doing that. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. Uh, movie review tonight. We're getting closer to Halloween, so you're watching these scary movies. I happened to walk out on you when you were, when we were watching both of them. And uh, we won't talk about what you're going to give them, one out of five beers. But you didn't look very happy when you were watching. I think we're going to change that from one out of five to zero out of five. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to drop my scale like negative one beer. That bad, huh? That bad. No, well, no, but I did watch two because, uh, well, we'll talk about them later, but I, I watched two. So let's, you got we'll, two we'll just say, we'll say that. So a couple weeks ago uh, on the 5th, we lost one of the greatest guitar players ever, Eddie Van Halen. Mm -hmm. So uh, tonight, when we, I always warm up the studio a little bit. So I'm playing something from OU812 and for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge as well with, when they did the records with Sammy Agar, which I think four of those records, number one, as soon as they came out. Uh, I have to give props to the American, no wait, it is the Billboard, Billboard uh, Music Awards that was on this week. I got to give them props because I was wondering if they were going to do anything, you know, to honor Eddie Van Halen. And they did. They showed them playing 2015 uh, Panama. And then they showed uh, a video of his guitar and a guitar stand and the amps and everything. A tribute to him. So I that was very cool. cool. I still haven't seen anything from uh, the MTV channels. Maybe I missed it. I mean, a ticker is a ticker, but come on, man. When um, MTV signed on back in the day, it was Van Halen. It was all these bands. Come on. You got to do something. And they haven't done anything. I haven't seen it. Maybe I'm wrong. You can email us, BigDogACShow. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. Well, I think by now they're probably not going to do anything. If they were going to, they would have done it already. So either we missed it or they just, you know, went past it. Maybe and, I missed and that it. And that was it. Yeah. But you were saying Billboard that they should have and I'm glad that they did do a tribute because yep. 
he was well van halen was on the billboard top 100 right or right. number one on the billboard chart yeah today? he's been on there forever i mean some of the records he you know he put out he was on there but he was even more on there when he did the sammy hagar records those were all number one albums mm -hmm. so his songs were uh, right now and all the other ones he did you know they were up there so it was great to see uh, Kelly Clarkson and, and them do a tribute to Eddie Van Halen and his band Van Halen and uh, play a video clip of them and then you know it was really cool so I was very satisfied because now I'm watching everybody in the music business see if they give props to him um, Tom Morello XM I, I listened to XM and Tom Morello was on uh, I think it's a deep cuts they turned they turned that channel into a Van Halen uh, tribute so everything's Van Halen they had Tom Morello on there and he was talking about you know uh, Van Halen opening up for uh, Black Sabbath in 1978 wow and then uh, they had Brett Michaels on there saying the first time he heard eruption he was like what the hell is that mm -hmm. so I mean it you know we lost a great one but you know we're gonna enjoy his music and and uh, it'll be here forever oh yeah. yeah so did you ever see Van Halen which I know you've seen them millions of times so you must have seen them with Sammy. I did, yeah. I saw, I saw them with Sammy. I saw them with David Lee Roth. I, uh, I think it was the Women and Children First Tour at the Cow Palace in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I saw them with Sammy Hagar. I got to actually meet them with uh, Sammy. And and then, uh, who, uh, then I saw them with Gary Sharon. Mm -hmm. Got to meet them with him as well. He's the nicest guy in the world. And there was a few other times that I was doing, working some shows that they were playing on the show, like Monsters of Rock and stuff, who I actually, you know, got to hang and talk to these guys. So it was cool, you know, but I mean, his guitar work is, there'll never be oh. anybody. He oh, yeah. needs to get paid royalties for everybody tapping on the neck. Yeah. Because that's, you know, that was his deal. Yeah. So. And so you did meet David Lee Roth, right? You met him backstage. Yeah, David Lee was an interesting man. That guy, you know, when I went in, when I went to, in to meet him, uh, you know, uh, I was told by Big Eddie, who was his manager, to meet him at the soundboard. And I met him at the soundboard, and he's a big guy. So he took me back, you know, and I'm walking in, and, and Dave has his own party. That I mean, his own deal. I walked in, he goes, go in this room, wait for a little while, and I'll come and get you. So I went in there, and it was just all these ladies, and everybody's partying, and me and these dudes were just standing there like, what the hell? So he <laughs> came and got me. And he took me in there, and then Dave was sitting there, and I'm like, man, what's up, Dave? How you doing? He didn't remember that I had met him on that Women and Children First Tour many years ago. Oh, well, you know, yeah. he probably met, All, like, millions of people. He, and, and He was just sitting there, and I said, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate your music and everything. So he reaches back behind him, and he grabs a bunch of ice out of the ice chest and puts it in a cup and pours some Jack Daniels in it and hands it to me. Have a drink with me. I said, no problem, man. <laughs> it was crazy and you know that the, the interesting about it the interesting thing about it is i couldn't get any of my friends or anybody to come with me to that show to meet him and that's crazy because if, if you knew me then i would have gone i know i know and, and and back in that day i was like come on man i'm gonna go hang out with daily roth ah yeah right yeah. Well, they, they they're blew lost it. they're lost because they Jack. now when you met him though did he have his typical like no shirt on and his chaps on yeah like he does he did <laughs> he, he did. did he did do you have like suspenders on too like, I, you know? I think so i think he had the chap suspenders and he was just he was the man and he's david Lee roth he so, was I cool mean, though he was he nice was so and... cool and so nice and gave me a hug when i left and and then i went from that show to to doing that show up to another show where motley Crue was playing with uh I think Megadeth and a bunch of other bands, and I was back there kind of hanging out with the management company at the time. So I was kind of hanging out and stuff like that. And it's like, no, nope. hey, you want to go with me? I, my tattoo guy, I was talking to my tattoo artist and I'm all, you, don't, you want to meet Nikki Six? Let's go. Ah, dude, I can't. I got to stay home, you know? I'm like, okay. Wow, you look cra crazy. <laughs> you got an opportunity to put a dot on a guy. Yeah. One, that's it. Yeah. So, I mean. Wow. Uh, there's we got a lot of stories. There's a you ton have a of, lot of stories. There, there's a lot of things that uh, you know over my tenure of doing what I was doing back in the day, uh, you know. But I have another question. Okay, so you went. You said you went from one night you saw David Lee Roth, drank with him, probably right. partied and did whatever. Yeah, we had a good time. Went up to the Motley Crue show. Yeah. Drank again. Yes. 
So that must have been nice to be able to drink one night and then go the next night and drink again because I know I can't do that anymore. Well, the, <laughs> it's like I'm well, done that, that, for like two days. This, I think this is 1997 or eight. So you're a little baby. I was a little baby. I, I was just still being nursed. Oh God! <laughs> By the Jack Daniels. By Pete. the Jack Daniels. <laughs> Some chick I didn't Jeez. know. Jeez. <laughs> But uh, well, yeah, it, one every night was probably a different yeah, I was, one every you night. Know, stay in a hotel room and then the next day show up and go back to work at the time. Wow. So I was working in radio then. So it was like, uh, you know, it was really lenient when you, you know, it next was, day they all knew where you went. So. Right. So they were expecting you to be hungover. Yeah. They, anyways, you know, the next know, day. That was Dave last night. Good, man. Thanks. All right. Get back to work. All right. Go. Cool. <laughs> So, you're hungover tough here's a bucket throw up yeah and, throw up, get back to work and do your there. show yeah don't be talking to none of the traffic women around here come on what? what you're not supposed to be talking to traffic women big dog ac show we have a movie review actually you watched two movies tonight i did watch two yeah so i mean you have a one to five beer rating on those two so yeah. it, 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 it is going to be interesting to see what those are but uh you did a little research I did. Well, let's do the movie review first because okay. the two movies I watched were both about Ouija boards. Man, I'll tell you what, those things are scary. And then after we that, used to we have one when I was little, we used to have a Ouija board. We didn't think anything of it. But now everybody's like, don't put those in your house. Don't have nothing to do with them. Well, when I was in high school, I found a Ouija board. I guess it was my mom's from when she was younger and it was in the, in the box still. But you can tell she must have, she said that she had used so it a couple times. So that's what's wrong with your mom. We know what's wrong with your mom now. Yes. That's what's wrong. <laughs> no. Yep. No. Well, her, all her but, sisters, her sisters say she was the wild one. Yeah, so. she was the wild one. Well, the Ouija board that she had was actually from Milton Bradley. Wow. So, so that, you know, obviously they do the toys. So we're going to give Milton Bradley a little well, plug on the show. <laughs> well, I remember it was so weird because I, I remember thinking that it was, ooh, Ouija board. Ooh, it's so scary, you know? And then you see on the box, it's Milton Bradley's like, they make the toys and the board games and all that shit. And it was like, are you fucking kidding me? That's so weird. But um, I did look up a little bit of history on the Ouija board. And it first appeared in February 1891 in Pittsburgh at a toy store. And it was supposed to just give you, ooh, hours of fun and but, 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 the, but, the imagined and unimaginable. Yeah, but, and, you know, when, when I had the Ouija board and we were playing the Ouija board, and I think my brother would remember this because he was, we were all doing it, that thing would move on its own, the thing on top of the board. The planchette. Yeah, how does how does how do you explain that? Well, I saw something a while ago that psychiatrists or psychologists or whoever was doing the research, the study, was saying that we like subliminal not subliminally, but unconsciously move it ourselves. And so that's what they were trying to say, that that's what we do because we, we kinda want it to move. So we're not trying to move it, but subconsciously we are. And then, of course, other people say that, you know, it's the devil or the spirits or whoever. Well, well, you know, back then it wasn't a big deal, but now people don't even want that board in their house. Well, no. And when it first came out, you know, they, they marketed it as a fun little family kind of right. thing. Yeah. But there was also a time in the 19th century where all the spiritualists and that whole phenomena were were coming up and so there were a lot of people that they were doing seances using the Ouija board and most of these people were like scam artists and stuff and so they were you know oh yeah I'll talk to your dead husband give me five thousand dollars and right, then, you right. know and, and making all that shit up so that went whole through a whole thing too so now it's like I don't know is it you moving it is because it, when I was in high school like I say when we found this me and two of my friends we're in my room and we're like, okay, let's do it. So the one friend though, he didn't want to do anything. He's like, I'll just write down the letters and stuff. Oh, I want nothing to do with it. You know? So this is, we're talking about the Ouija board, not doing it, doing it. Yes. Talking about the We're talking about the Ouija board. <laughs> All right. The Ouija board. <laughs> so me and my friend, who was a girl, 
we were we were doing it and so we would ask questions and then we would even you know they say you have to sign off so we made sure we sign off and say goodbye and all that stuff right right but then we would ask like for a password so we'll know that we'll talk we're talking to you next time and all this stuff. like we would ask like really serious questions and we would write stuff down and after a while we got really fucking freaked out <laughs> yeah. so i had like a statue of the virgin mary i had a crucifix i had all this stuff so we were sitting in the middle of like a triangle <laughs> So that we could be protected from outside forces. So you were into it. I mean, oh, you, no, you, well, you we were did it. That. We did it multiple times. Like for a while, we were kind of into it, but we still, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, we have to do it. It was still just like, okay, you guys want to come over and we'll do it. Okay, cool. But then we would like ask questions. So then we'd leave off. And so next time we'd ask more questions. And so we just have all these pages of answers to what are, we were asking. So after a while, we're like, okay, we're going to be done now <laughs> because like one time we said, okay, like, what's your name? And, and it said like, oh, I can't tell you. I'm like, well, why not? And it said like, cause it'll hurt me. And we're like, oh shit, no. who's going to hurt you? Like, okay, maybe we need to stop asking questions <laughs> and maybe we need to be done. Cause either something's telling us this we're or we're subconsciously doing this but either way we don't need to kill any further well yeah so after a certain point we stopped put it away put the ouija board away and then eventually actually just like a few years ago my mom was going through the closet and all the stuff and she found the ouija board she's like oh what do you want this i'm like no no get rid of it no so, she put, so somebody in goodwill or salvation army she did found yeah i'm like no get rid of it because i was gonna burn it but then i'm like no then you leave the portal open and all that stuff. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, it this was is why this is why AC watches horror movies. If it's true or not, I'm not fucking around with it. You know, <laughs> it's like okay, just I said, just stick it in the box with all the toys and just like pass it on. So yeah. it's gone now. I don't think that's a game, uh, a game board or anything like that. That's a whole, that's a whole different ball game. That Ouija board. Well, you figure it's mass produced at the time, so you know there's not like some witch or something like overlooking well, all this mass up. You know, they, it was popular, so they, you know everybody wanted a copy of it, and they get it, and then things start getting weird, and you know. It's, well, because it goes into that thing: are you moving it, yeah. or is something else moving it? And so that just messes with your brain. Okay, AC has a movie review, and uh, you watch two movies today. And from what I could see when I walked out into the theater, the movie theater, you were watching them, uh, you weren't too impressed. No, I wasn't. And so we talked about Ouija. So this goes into what I was watching today. And first I watched Ouija House from 2018. Usually I read the IMDb um, page and like tell you what it says and stuff. Right. But we're not doing that because I got two. So I watched this first one. And basically, it is a girl, she's like in her 20s, she's doing writing a thesis, she says, through the, the whole movie, she'll, this is for research, this is for research. So she must be like a PhD person or something. So she has to be somewhat smart, right? I don't think she is, but she kept talking about research. Okay, so then she goes to this one, it's supposed to be a cabin, and it's on her... I don't know which side of the family, her mom or her dad or whoever, but supposedly they have witches on that side. So the house is supposed to be a cabin. First of all, it's not a cabin. It doesn't look like a cabin. It looks like some Spanish style house. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And so she brings her boyfriend and their friend and the friend's girlfriend. So they find a Ouija board. Well, her cousin's there too, because they're, they're the ones that have the house. So they find a Ouija board, of course, and they play with it, do whatever, and then they basically invoke, not on purpose, but re awakens, I'll say, a warlock that used to be part of this coven, and he turned evil, and they said his evilness kind of went into the trees of the forest around that house. You know, so then they built. But let me let me chime in. The story of the the story of the movie is is interesting. But the actors and actresses that do the movie, it just kind of makes it not interesting. At first, I thought this movie sucked, and it's still, it's not very good, but the story is better than 
the second movie that I watched because I watched the second one because I thought this one sucks. I got to just see if I can find a better movie. And the second movie, that storyline sucked even harder than the first one. So one, so one, like, out, one out of five beers for the first movie. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm giving it, a, oh, okay, I'll do one and a half out of five. One and a Be, half? Yeah, because it sucked. It was really, really bad. Really? But the half part is it, it got saved because, of course, it's called Ouija House. So it's this, like I say, it's the spirit of this warlock. And the witches who ended up vanquishing him cut him into bits and pieces. I, and think, I, I think I caught that part when I walked through there. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah. oh yeah, you did. Yeah. And so they buried him underneath this house. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? But that just is like, whatever. Okay, so like I was saying though, his evilness went into the forest. And so they cut those trees down and they used that lumber to build this house. So he is part of this house is kind of the whole situation. And so the witches, once they vanquished him, cut him in pieces, put him in the basement or whatever, buried him under the house, they put, which this, this is another thing that makes no fucking sense to me. They put basically all, you know, the alphabet and the numbers, all the stuff that you see on a Ouija board, even the hello and goodbye, right. the yes and the no. They put it all on the walls of the house and they covered up everything, I like his name, how you spell his name, and his name was Roca, and I only remember that because of Almond Roca, the candy. <laughs> so I was like, Roca, okay, like the candy. So they cover up the letters of his name, and then that's supposed to like keep him at bay or whatever. So then this girl goes up there, gets the Ouija board, and it's a handmade, a homemade type Ouija board. You know, so it's not like the Milton Bradley one. No, no. it's like a homemade Ouija board. So I would I mean, think well, those are, those are probably worse. What was Milton Bradley thinking when they put that thing together? I mean, I everybody wants to buy it and use it. It was popular, but yeah. it's it's like jumping on the bandwagon, trying oh. to sell some stuff when all the spiritualism and all that kind of shit was happening. You it's know, crazy. they just I know. But when you think about it, it's like really Milton Bradley. Well, your I'm mom sure they're not one. spreading all the your evil out. Your mom had one though. She had one. Yeah, I, I wonder what made her get one. I don't know. Because I do would... we do we really know her? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Who are who is this woman? Who is that woman? Jeez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the girl goes over there. They do the Ouija board, and of course that's what releases the whole shit. So blah blah blah. Shit happens. You know, watch the movie if you want. All these things. People keep dying. And this warlock, Roka, he liked to play word games, so then he's the one that basically answered the, the Ouija board thing when they were playing. And so he was having them play a word game and they guessed wrong, so he'd kill each one at a time, you know. Mm. So then the, the girl, though, she kept saying, this is for research, this is for research. And like, okay. So she's, the, of course, the last one. Well, her and the, the, the friend, they were the last people standing. But Tara Reed was in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Tara Reed. So she was like in the first couple minutes, and when I first saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, this is gonna be a bad movie. I think the only <laughs> the movie. only movie I've ever seen Tara Reed in is Van Wilder. That's the only one I've ever seen her in. Yeah, she yeah. was she was in that, and then that's before all her face facial stuff stuff. Yeah, like you can't even really trying recognize to, her. Trying to you know do some work like uh, yes. the Kardashian. She looks. Sport. She. She looks different. I'll right. just say that. Mm -hmm. So she was in it. So right, right off the bat, I was like, okay, this is going to be a bad movie. <laughs> so anyways, and the, the girlfriend of the friend that they take over there, she decides, she gets drunk and she's all, well, we can do, we can, as long as you write like the yes, no, the ABC and all that stuff, it doesn't have to be on the board. So she wrote it on her body. So of course, then she gets possessed. Well, that's the part I missed. Yeah. You missed that part. Oh, well. Because the girls in this movie have the short shorts on and the little I mean, tank top. I missed it. You, well, you didn't even call me to come out the there. The only thing that was missing from this movie is yeah. couples having sex and then someone getting killed because that's what usually happens. <laughs> so no one did that in this movie, but they all got killed in, in different ways. So one out of five beers this on the was, first movie. This was one and a half because after watching the second one, I decided to bump this up to one and a half. <laughs> so the second one the second one was called Ouija Summoning and that's from 2015 <laughs> and that one sucks so bad like they they only showed the Ouija board for the the first you know like 10 20 15 20 minutes then after that it's just this this girl gets 
um, like haunted. She's not possessed, but she the spirit attaches to her, and it's like an angry spirit. And she keeps the spirit tells the girl to kill somebody because they went camping, and then so there was a friend and her boyfriend, and they got this Ouija board from this abandoned house that has police tape all over it and the dude finds a Ouija board he's like oh this is cool and she's like no leave it yeah so he takes it and they all of go course. camping of course and so then the friend and the boyfriend end up playing it and she doesn't want to have any part of it so then the board starts moving the planchette starts moving by itself without them touching it at all which I, is another I, sign you know that what? there's a problem I could, I could swear <laughs> when we had the Ouija board and we were playing and I could swear that thing moved on its own. But your hand, your fingers were on it. It wasn't moving. I don't know. I mean, it was, uh, you know, you look back now and you think, really? Was somebody moving that? And I don't think we were moving. Well, that's the whole subconscious that you, like involuntary twitching or you moving it. But this thing, they weren't touching it and it was moving. So that's when you know the shit's about to get dirty. You know, right. it's going to go down. Get crazy. Yeah. So then... She starts having dreams and she sees things, you know, sees the spirit and whatever. And the spirit's telling her to kill the friend. It's like, if you don't kill, well, it said kill the friend. His name's Santiago. Kill Santiago or, but that's all it said. And she's like, well, I'm not going to kill him. So she didn't kill him. So the spirit killed him. So then she has more dreams and sees the ghoulish thing. So kill your Nana, your grandma, or, or, and then that's it. So then the grandma gets killed and so then it keeps going and going until it wants her to kill somebody and they get a priest involved and the priest is like, well, don't get your hands dirty, you know, don't kill anybody and don't get any blood on your hands because that's what the spirit wants, you know, so don't do that. So in the end, spoiler, okay, because I don't think anyone's going to watch this movie because it sucks. Jeez. She ends up killing herself so that she doesn't have to kill her father because that was down the line. It was to kill her father. So she killed herself. And so that kind of ended the whole thing in, in her like afterlife ki kind of so thing. Why dream. They, why did they call it Ouija then? I don't weird. know because it really, it started it, but it was not throughout. The reason I gave Ouija House at least one and a half is that Ouija, the Ouija board was part of the whole thing. It was right. in the house. Right. Right. They did multiple boards. They did that one, and then the girl had one on herself. You know, it was throughout. It made up so sense. So what do you give the second movie? This one, I'm just giving it a one, because it's probably not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's definitely, definitely down there. <laughs> it was not very good, so that's why I gave the other one one and a half, because after, after the second one, I'm like, oh, maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> So yeah, you, you know, well, but you, you took a nap after this. I did. One. I did. So obviously, it did not freak me out whatsoever. I right. I slept very easily after this, <laughs> but I tried. I picked Ouija because I'm thinking Halloween. I'm trying. Well, that's another thing. Big Dog AC Show. We're gonna do some Halloween stuff. We're gonna talk about Halloween beer, which we we tonight we've had a really good one. Mm -hmm. uh, as we get closer to Halloween, which is a Saturday night. Now it's a Saturday. Saturday night. That show is going to be straight Halloween and we'll we'll do that show Saturday night it'll be available on Sunday yep. the next morning the 1st of November are so. we going to get dressed up for that? I think so <laughs> we, I, I we think are? we will I think we'll do something can we, can we do effects? I want to be able to yeah, I think I, throw, I can throw some effects in there on you <laughs> Because you talk plenty, so I can get some effects in there, no doubt about it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like to hear myself talk every once in a while. That's what I hear. <laughs> well, you had two movies to review tonight. You did a good job. Oh, thank I you. think you're fine. <laughs> I take enough time? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. If you fill the block. That's what we want. So. <laughs> uh, Big Dog AC Show, we appreciate you listening. We are on a lot of platforms. We want to thank uh, DK for his pictures, and uh, they'll be up soon. Yep. And I'm sure we'll get plenty more. And we appreciate him. He knows how, how to draw. It's really cool what he's doing. So Yeah, so we'll put those up on social media. And if anyone else has anything that they can Yeah, they want to send, send it us. to us. You can like us at Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, email us, bigdogacshow at gmail.com. And our website, up and running. we got to do some more work to that. That's where you can find the DK pictures as well. Mm -hmm. uh, www.bigdogacshow.com. We appreciate you listening. Of course, every show, we always throw a little money in the swear jar because uh, AC likes to 
you know, swear a little bit once in a while. So at the end of the show, we'll do that. And I, I think that I didn't cuss as much as I usually do because I had so much important information yeah. that I didn't have to put the filler fucks in there to to cover things. The, 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 the what? The, <laughs> the fil- filler fucks. The filler fucks. Okay. But these two, like these two movies, did fucking suck. So, anyways, if you want to watch them, cool. Um, we're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify, we're on Google Podcasts, we're on Stitcher, we're on Amazon Music, we're on iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Alexa, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Deezer, Player FM, and Listen Notes. And of course, YouTube, which you did say. Exactly. So, so we're all over the place. We appreciate it. We'll uh, talk again next time. Another show in the next week. Maybe we'll get a little spookier next time. Well, if we get, can. We're going to get more spookier. Uh, what's the beer we got tonight? What, what do we have tonight? This is Heretic Shallow Grave. So let's see if we can find like a, a murder murder house. Murder or house or something. <laughs> yeah. As we get, From hell or as something. As we get closer to <laughs> Halloween, we're going to do more stuff. And, and once again, we appreciate you listening. Big Dog AC Show, and we'll talk to you next weekend. Thank you.